Hey guys, it's editor Justin here. Take note that when I refer to a D20 amplifier by Rev, I'm actually talking about the G20. I made a mistake due to lack of caffeine and lack of sleep and dead brain. I just kept calling the wrong amplifier name. So every time you hear a D20 reference, I'm talking about the Rev G20. Let's get to the video. Hi guys, my name is Justin and I'm all about worship guitar. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Tonal Recreation. This is the preset by Worship Tutorials, the Rev D25 Tone Match version 2. It's quickly becoming my favorite Fender style amp and is currently for free as of May 2024. Today I'm trying to get the searing lead tones that I hear from Sean Tubbs, who is an amazing player. I've been watching his channel for a long time, and a key part of that sound is the Rev G20. You can kind of get a low gain D20 when I crank up all the drives on this preset. <laughs> bad it's quite gained up but it's not quite in the sizzling category like a d20 does a sean tub style so in today's tonal recreation i'm going to turn a rev d25 and try to turn it into a rev d20 okay let's check out what the drive options are you've got an air apparent which is like the king of tone they're using the m drive to turn up the gain so that you have a lead sound what if i turn up the compressor level to something more drastic let's like say 8 db of gain what do i get with the preset <laughs> Turn on the gain. And max gain out with the M gain switch. That's a decent gain sound, but it's still too round. It's not the D20 kind of searing articulated lead sound that I'm looking for. So let's begin to look at things, how to change it up. To maximize the utility of this preset, I'm going to do a few things like remove the extraneous blocks that I won't use, like the wah pedal, the volume pedal, and the FX loop. So to do that, we're going to jailbreak this preset. So let's begin to jailbreak the preset by right clicking on the preset and let's going to open with something else. You're not going to use the part go editor. You're going to go to other and scroll down to text edit. When you're on text edit, click open. You see the code come up like this. You can use command find to isolate the part of the JSON script where the code resides, like the wa, which is down here. So just make sure that when you highlight this to delete, you also delete off the little close bracket at the end there, like this. FX loop mono one, this is the FX loop. So we're gonna take this and HD vol pan vol stereo is your volume pedal. So we're gonna take this and make sure that the bracket is closed up too. Now control save, right click, import, load up the preset you just Joe broke. Voila, you should see that there are three empty blocks for you to try things on. First things first, the air apparent is a very round kind of overdrive, which I don't want. I want this to be a searing lead kind of tone. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to add the Timmy instead. Tweak this, six, three, six, and center and seven. So this is how the tone sounds like with Timmy instead of the King of Tone. <laughs> It's good, it's better, it's closer to the D20 kind of sound with the searing lead, but it could be better. I'm going to use a simple EQ to do a mid boost at the 3K mark, because I think at 3K and you boost it by, let's say, something gentle, 2.5 dBs of gain. <laughs> Sizzle factor went up, which is great. I'm going to turn this up to maybe 3 dBs of extra gain because that's when you can really get it to be hot. Oh, yeah, this is it now. Which go 
goes to show you don't have to do major EQ moves to get the preset to sound the way you want it to. All you need is a little knowledge as to how the character overdrives are. For example, in this case, it was very apparent that the no pun intended, the air apparent, which is the King of Tone style, is a more rounded overdrive. Change it up for a Tima, which is more treble heavy because it doesn't take off those highs and shave it off as fast as a King of Tone does. Now, in line with what I'm hearing as a classic rock style preset, I'm going to use chorus because who doesn't love a good chorus? Let's drag this to the end. Switch number two. <laughs> I coil tap my pickups. Instant 80s vibe, I love it. So we've got one more block to go and I want to have a bit more variety in the delay sound. I, I want to have that stacked dotted eighth and quarter note delay. So I'm going to put in a simple delay. I'm going to turn this to dotted eighth, turn the feedback up, turn the mix up. Make sure the scales are 100% so it's just one repeat. It's not ping ponging between two. Turn this to quarter note and what do I get? <laughs> It's a key characteristic of the Fender style amps where they have such a high hit room that it takes a lot to distort the front end. Sometimes you want the delays to be crunched up with the AC style or matcha style amp, which is what you would use if you want that really steep, saturated kind of delay crunch. If you want the delay to be in front of the amp but not crunch up as fast as with a Vox style amplifier, the Fender style amp is the way to go. Last thing I'm going to do, because we don't have a volume pedal, I'm going to assign this to EXP2. Make sure that it's minus 60 and max level at 1.5. Pressing that wet switch. I'm happy with how this turned out. I've managed to turn the D25 into a sort of D20-ish amplifier with a same lead tone just by having an EQ in front and boosting those mids as well as pushing the system through with a bit more gain. I sort out the King of Tone style overdrive with a Timmy style overdrive where it is a transparent drive that doesn't shave off those high end as much so you get the searing articulated lead tone. And after all of that, I still have the leftover DSP to include a chorus pedal just for those chorus 80s vibes. Thank you for watching this episode. If you found value in it, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon to grow this channel, as well as feel free to check out my preset packs on my Buy Me A Coffee page. I won't be able to include this as a free update to the pack because this is technically against the end user license agreement with Bushu Tutorials. You are, however, free to follow along and create a preset just like this. Who knows, maybe you don't want a chorus pedal, maybe you don't want to have that mid boost in front. The key is to experiment with what you would like. If you enjoyed this video, stick around because the next one that I've loaded up is something that you might enjoy in my Bushupify or Tonal Recreation series. <laughs>